honours even after Villas and Vahanen 50s. Kent slipped a defeat at home to Yorkshire last time out and played hosts once again in round three. Lancashire the visitors, fresh off the back of an impressive win over Northamptonshire. The home side put their visitors in and found success early on. Davis feathered one through to Robinson off Milnes. It was the hosts who were enjoying themselves and before long they had another. Jennings the latest man to go, out at the hands of Darren Stevens. The visitors steered themselves past 50. Kent with a good handle on their opponent's rate of scoring. And with the session meandering towards lunch, the hosts were on top. The score at the interval was 61 for 2. Lancashire had work to do in the afternoon. Wells and Bahannon played their way to a 50 partnership at the resumption, the score now sneaking towards three figures. But the pair would be separated soon after. Wells denied a 50 as a glancing blow from an attempted leave nestled in Robinson's gloves. Stevens then struck to remove Jones for one. The visitors now four down and the score still shy of 100. Dane Villas ensured they'd get through to three figures without further loss. The Lancashire captain once again required to hold firm against some difficult bowling. Kent's progress had been halted and soon enough, Lancashire found their way to 150. The two Lanks batsmen matched each other stride for stride, Villas sending the ball flying over the ropes as they continued. Bahannon was the first of the two to reach 50, his coming off 136 balls. Then it was the captain's turn, his own half century a more rapid one, his came from 65 deliveries. By the time the pair took Lancashire into tea, the score was 179 for 4 and the two sides were neck and neck. But Kent edged ahead at the resumption, Villas could go no further, out LBW to Klaassen. Rob Jones could only add two before temptation got the better of him and he was stumped coming down the wicket to leaning. Bahannon and Wood stuck together though and they held firm against Kent. They took the score past 200 but the Lancashire innings was at risk of being bogged down. Both men started to find the boundary again, Bahannon now batting his way towards three figures. He'd be unable to get there, with shadows stretching across the Canterbury outfield, Bahannon's long knock was at an end. Cummins the man to remove him, out LBW for 87. Danny Lamb joined Wood and steered Lancashire through to the close of play, the visitors down to the bowlers, heading into the second day at 260 for 7.